I wanted to know how you combining the PAL program in language since you initiated it into a tool of ministry or how has it helped mm -hmm. ministry? Um, well, you know, it, a programming language is not really necessarily spiritual of its own, uh, but it, it has more to do with um, uh, how I think the community should work and the, the fact that, um, that I, as a, a believer, uh, can hear what people's needs are and meet them. I mean, clearly, but what you've done, um, I just wanted to know, how did you get it started, PAL programming? You know, you've talked about it off and over, but would you mind just telling the viewers? Yeah, sure. Um, well, I, I had uh, I had an itch to scratch. Mm -hmm. I uh, uh, had a problem to solve, mm -hmm. uh, and the, the tools that I was working with just weren't weren't really uh, up to uh, what I wanted. Just started off with a kind of a, a beginning of an idea, and uh, and then as people uh, started using it and liking it, uh, we started recognizing what the real need was and uh, developed Perl into that, that need that people had for a text processing language that would also do other things. Wow. wow. To a layman, how does PAL work? Somebody who doesn't understand programming languages, how does it exactly work? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with, with programming, it, it's, uh, in normal terms, it's like following a recipe uh, or, or writing a recipe. Uh -huh. uh, um, and uh, you know, Perl is a particular kind of uh, cooking, if you will. Yeah. Perl, as a programming language, is about kind of like cooking text files. Uh, my text files that we mean, mean just just uh, you know uh, language like uh, or or uh, files of, of text that your computer might spit out that are logging information and events that have happened, people who log on to the computer or. Anything that, that's happening periodically, you know, produces this log, mm -hmm. uh, and you might want to just scan through that and, and do something with it. And that that is the sort of thing that Perl was initially written to to do. And uh, and it's still at its heart. It's a text processing language. It, it likes words and sentences and and lines of text, uh, and uh, and makes it very easy to to deal with with that sort of food. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, we even have a, a, there's a book, I didn't write it, but it's uh -huh. called The Pearl Cookbook. The Pearl Cookbook. Yeah, so it's sort of a friend, a friend of mine wrote that. It has recipes for how to do Deal. things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, I just wanted to know what exactly earns your living, since I know that Pearl, you give it out mm -hmm. in open source. What exactly earns your living? How do you make your profit? There's, there's various ways you can make money. Uh, in my case, I, I wrote a book about it and I get a few royalties off of that. Um, and sometimes a, a company will, will pay you back in terms of stock options or something like that. Uh, you, can, you can offer to support you know, uh, people, so you can have support contracts or you can uh, sell things that are associated with you know, the people who sell uh, T-shirts and and uh, goodies of various sorts that are associated with with various open source projects. Mm -hmm. Mostly, though, uh, people make a living uh, by uh, persuading a company to hire them to do open source software. And I actually do this mostly right now myself. Uh, I work for a very nice company called NetLogic Microsystems, and mostly they pay me to work on Perl. And that is because they use Perl a lot. And um, so it, it helps them. I can tell them how to program Perl better. And when I, they have ideas, I can feed that back to the Perl community in ways that will help them. So it, it's a two-way street, uh, in biological terms, symbi symbiosis. Yeah. Um, and uh, so it's, in the, it's often in the company's best interest to have some experts in uh, community software, and uh, if you can, you know, learn one of them well enough to be an expert, then then a company will be interested in hiring you, just to 
you take care of that relationship. Mm -hmm. So you almost create a, it's almost like you say, a symbiotic relationship between yes. you and the company. And it's actually very difficult for a company to give money to a project. Mm -hmm. it, it's difficult to set that up. Mm -hmm. It's very easy for a company to hire somebody to work on a project. Mm -hmm. Great. So I wanted to know, is that um, all that you do, do you have other programming languages coming up or is it Perl your baby? Per Perl's my big baby. It's, mm -hmm. it's probably my life work. <laughs> now, I, I've done other things, yeah. uh, other programs that I've given away and some of them have been somewhat successful, but um, no, Perl, uh, um, you know, there, there are two kinds of, of writers. Mm -hmm. uh, there are the people who write this story and they put it away and they write that story and they put it away. Uh, then there are the writers that are more like Tolkien, mm -hmm. where everything they know ends up going into the same story, mm -hmm. more or less. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm more like that. Uh -huh. So, uh, instead of just making more new projects out there, I tend to find ways of attaching it to what I already have. To build it, up. To build it and make it a, 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 an aspect of, of Pearl. Um, that being said, there's there's lots of things. I'm, I'm interested in awful lot of things. Um, it's, it's one of my problems is that I'm interested in too many things. So, you know, I play in, I play in the worship band at the church. You know, I play drums. And yeah. I, I don't know how I'm going to hook that up to prayer. <laughs> uh, but, uh, uh, and I've uh, done various musical things. Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, one, one of the ways that I hook a lot of things in is that I give, I give uh, talks at the open source conference every year. And I usually talk about Pearl and something else. So I've had a talk that was about Pearl and chemistry, Pearl and music, you know, Pearl and, and games, Pearl and this and that and the other thing. And so, um, you know, often if you can't figure out a way to, uh, to, to write a paper or something, mm -hmm. you know, pick, pick something random and then just look at the relationship of that to, to the thing you're interested in. Uh, and that's a very easy way of coming up with ideas. Uh, and uh, uh, at least it works for me. <laughs> Great. Now, what, what is one of the greatest comments you've received from people like just walking up the street? Did somebody ever stop you to tell you, Larry, this? Well, uh, we, were, we, were, uh, we went to a, uh, a, a movie once in, at an a art, art theater in, in, in Cupertino. I don't remember the movie, but the, the guy selling movie tickets says, you're Larry Wall. <laughs> uh, it, you know, sometimes people ask for autographs or, mm -hmm. or, or uh, pictures, and, and, and I'm quite happy to do that because it's meaningful to them and it's no problem to me. And, uh, you know, fame, fame is, is just another thing that happens. And uh, when you look back on your life and see that, that it's, it's been God that has been putting you in that position, yeah. and you can't take credit yourself. Um, I'm, I'm more happy that that uh, you know I'm doing what God wants, whether or not it, it, it makes me famous. Mm -hmm. um, and you know I will I will use the fame as, as one more tool uh, to try to do things that I think need doing, but uh, it's certainly not not something to, to celebrate mm -hmm. for its own good. It's 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 just there. Uh, um. Now, what are some of the benefits uh, that people have gained from using PAL as a program? Uh, well, um, you know, it's been said that every computer language teaches you to think differently. And so, on that level, uh, it, it has you know, taught people a different way of thinking. Um, I, I think that the, the, the sort of comment I appreciate most is when somebody comes to me and says, you know, I used to hate programming and then I started using Perl and now I, I love programming again. Mm -hmm. And you know, some of that is, is just because it's a culture that is, is fun and some of it is because the language itself makes it really easy to do certain kinds of things. Um, you know, that's sort of on a, on a psychological level. That, that, that is a benefit. Uh, you know, on a, on a financial benefit, many people actually do make their livings uh, programming Perl for whatever company they're working for. Um, 
a lot of uh, web web designers uh, use Perl these days still, um, and uh, there's a lot of people who it's just sort of a hobby. Uh, they, you know, if they want to uh, do some home automation, turn on lights around their house or something like that, and just write a little Perl script, or you know, if they want to write a little little fun little game or something, they, they might might use Perl, uh, or they might use some other language, but. Um, I think just the fact that it, it makes some things easy that that no other language makes easy is is uh, what makes people uh, like Perl.